Hi, I'm Todd Gattel. And I'm Brian Funderburg. Today we're here to talk about one of our most important resources, and that's water. That's right, Mayor, and today what we want to do is help people understand uh, just how much water you're really using, and the Mayor is going to be a great example for all of us. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate that. <laughs> so today we're actually here at my home, and I wanted to be able to demonstrate, to actually show you what a utility meter looks like, how it functions, and how we check for if we're leaking or not, and how much water exactly that we're using. Jake Gillian's with us today. Uh, Jake is our utility operations manager. Uh, Jake is going to actually pull the lid off for us, and we're going to be able to explain exactly what's in this lid uh, into this meter box. All right, so what we're actually doing is we're taking the cover off the meter. And can you tell me a little bit about this? What is this disc for? Uh, this disc is the uh, transmitter antenna. Um, okay. The transmitter is actually called an MXU. It's underneath here. Um, and this is what sends the reading to the truck as they drive by to read the meter. Okay, so one thing that's important now, I, I know you've talked about this before, that you really shouldn't really attempt to try to pull these off by yourself be because there are wires that could get disconnected? There are wires that are disconnected and these, these are crucial um, for the, the truck to be able to read the meter correctly. I see the meter down here. I see the meter here. Um, there, there's a, a leak detector. You'll be able to see if, if you've got any water running at all, they'll, it'll be turning. Um, the, the, it's, a, it's a red dial and there's a line on it. And if it's turning at all, that, that means there's water running through the meter. If you know for a fact that you have no water running in your house, any amount of rotation that it does will indicate a leak. What we're going to do is actually do a test of the sprinkler system because one of the questions that, that, we've come, uh, that we've been asked many times is how much water does my sprinkler system actually use? So what we thought we'd do, we'd run a couple of zones to be able to measure a specific amount of time so we can determine exactly how much water is moving through the system. That's right, Mayor. And then what we can do is reread your meter and we'll know exactly how many gallons went through. All right, so the meter, it says 13777988. So it's 1,377,988.8. So that's where we're starting at. And then as we turn this on, of course, we'll see it spin very quickly. Correct. All right, perfect. So let's right. get started. Alright, so we're here in my garage. Thought we'd get a little bit of shade mm -hmm. why the sprinkler's running. Yep. But at this time we thought we'd talk a little bit about the different meter types. I understand there are really two classes of meter, we'll call them. We have the analog and of course the digital. This is what I actually have yes. when, when we actually open my lid. And you'll see that it has the meter that's running across or, or the reading that's running across. And there's that red gauge that, yes. that um, Jake actually talked about that spins around as well. So. And then Mayor, we also have this, uh, this particular unit too which you can see has a digital reading. Exactly the same kind of setup, and these are physical meters that we're able to come back and physically read if we had to. Now, this device is what Jake called the MXU. This is the device, whether it's this kind of meter or this kind of meter, you can see the wires that hook up into this, and then when the truck drives by to read the meters digitally um, over the air, it's reading from this device. But this device is connected to this one, and that's why if anything ever happens to our reading, we can always come back to this and verify the reading. What I wanted to talk about today is the importance of making sure that you program your sprinkler system properly. One thing that I found is that when I actually had um, gone back and checked the settings, I was actually watering multiple times in one evening over a three or four day period. And that in turn uses a lot more water than I really need. It, it does, Mayor, absolutely. And it's very important that our customers understand just how much water they're using from their irrigation. It is. And so this is pretty simple to program. You can actually set the specific date and time by doing that. Change the days. So if you have Sunday, you can actually see in there, we're not watering on Sunday. And then you go back to Monday, it waters. And then you can change this, the uh, specific time settings. So by doing that, it's best to water frequently over one day. In other words, um, just water for short intervals instead of having a long period. So instead of watering for 30 or 40 minutes, it's better to go eight to 10 minutes per station a couple times around. And you know, Mayor, one thing that we've heard from licensed irrigation specialists and landscape folks is that people do tend to overwater. So one thing we would challenge all of our customers with is check and see how much time you're watering. Look at your irrigation panel, calculate the number of minutes because you'll be surprised at how much time you're actually using. All right, so Brian, we've completed all the watering. Now let's go out and check the meter again to see how much water that, that we actually use. So all Jake, right. would you help us with that? I wanna make sure that we get an accurate reading. Now, according to my numbers on this, I see 1378158.6. So 1,378,158 gallons or 0.6 gallons. 
So Jake, how many how many gallons was that? That comes out to 170.6 gallons in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes. So that would be about, what is that, 1,024 gallons per hour. Yes. So for mayor, for depending on how your zones are set up and how long you run it, uh, that's over 1,000 gallons per hour that you're using out of your meter. So it's very easy when you start thinking about how many times a week do you water, how long do you water for in each station, it's very easy to think about that you could easily have a 30 or 40,000 gallon bill easily depending on the amount that you water. Well, that really completes our water test, so to speak, and I really appreciate it. Jake, thank you so much for being here. We You're certainly welcome. appreciate your help. I know you've been doing this a long time and, and uh, you've learned a lot from uh, over the years just seeing a lot of different things that go on a lot of different circumstances. So I don't think my use is really any different than anyone else's. No. And so, Brian, thanks so much for being here as well. Thank we you, certainly Mayor. hope that you uh, have found this very helpful today and uh, educational as well. You know, it's important. Um, it really made me take a hard look at the way that I water, Brian. Well, me too, Mayor. And I, I tell you what a great example today for us to really look at that. And 17 uh, uh, gallons per minute, I'll tell you a lot. Well, Mayor, and I'd like to challenge you and all of our customers to go to the website, uh, watermyyard.org, and uh, plug in the information on your system and it will tell you how much you should be watering this time of year. Well, Brian, thank you very much. Appreciate thank you again, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jake. Thanks, Jake.